Hello, my name is Arl Lomel, and in this video today I'm going to be talking about how to tune contrachander bagpipes. Contrachander bagpipes are a group of bagpipes from Central Eastern Europe that have at least two bores in the chander or melody pipe. Um, for the type I'm talking about, one of the bores, the contra is what's called a, a variable drone. It sounds either the tonic of the uh, instrument or drops down to the dominant. So it drops a fourth and creates a variable mm -pa, mm -pa, mm -pa kind of sound. Uh, there are variations on these that are a bit more complex, but what I'm talking about is how to do this with a Hungarian style instrument with a single contra and an extension for the contra pipe, which you'll see in this video. I hope this is useful to you. Um, thank you. Now to do this, I have previously plugged the drone with wax because we don't want the drone interfering at this point. And I've also removed the contra extension, which is um, this piece that goes on. And the reason for that <clears throat> is I want to be able to stop the contra on my knee so that I can hear only the melody board to start with. So as I do this, I'm going to inflate the bag. And what I want to do is be tuning the the uh, tonic note, the lowest note of the pipe to F. Okay. It was sounding just a bit sharp, sorry, it was croaking. So to adjust this, because it was a little bit sharp, I'm gonna pull out this reed, that's the melody reed, just a tiny bit. And the goal is to get this with the, the pipe stop just to sound perfectly in F. And that seems to be right at F according to my tuner. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I want to get the, I'm going to add the contra back and I want to tune the contra, open note of the contra to match that F. And I'm using my finger here to shade it. And as I cover the hole, it brings it into tune. And that tells me that it's just a little bit sharp. So I'm going to go in here and pull out this reed just a hair. So I want to get those in tune. And then let's try that again. Okay. So now when I've done that, I know that this hole uh, that the uh, the contra is now sounding what I want. So the next thing I'm what I want. So the next thing I'm going to do is tune the fifth on the melody pipe. Okay, it's just a hair sharp. Um, so I'm going to pull this out a little bit more. And you may say, well, didn't you already tune that? Well, the answer is no. I just tuned the tonic and used it as a reference to tune the contra. And that's important because this is tuned against the contra now. So I'm pulling that reed out just a hair and we'll see if that takes care of it. Okay, that sounds like it's right in. So let's check against the other. So let's check against the other note. Okay, if you could hear, there's a slight beat frequency. And what that tells me is that the tonic is now just a little bit flat on this pipe. So there's the tuning slot here. I'm going to go in and use the tuning pick and just push the wax up a little bit. I'm just opening up that hole, that slot a little bit, and hopefully that will bring it into tune. Okay, so if you hear it against just the tonic of the contra, everything sounds right. Now that, as I cover the, the hole on the contra, it sounds more or less right. But 
what I can hear when I sound the, uh, the dominant on the melody pipe against it is that it's actually just a little bit sharp. So if I pull this out just a hair, which I like doing because you want to have a little bit of wiggle room to adjust the contra independently, that should bring it into... Actually, I went the wrong way, sorry. I need to sharpen this just a little bit. I wasn't thinking, so I'm gonna, there's a tuning slot on the contra, much like on the side of the chanter. I'm gonna use the pick and pull some of the wax up and use that to raise the pitch just a hair. And let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Okay, it's still a little uh, flat. Um, you can hear it's actually interfering as I'm playing with the melody pipe. So let's see, I'm going to excavate the wax a bit and redo it completely. So let's, so I'm, I'm softening up the wax. I'm going to make this actually hopefully a little bit sharp. Now let's see how that sounds. Actually, now I need to push this reed in a little bit more. It is now sounding flat against the uh, it's the melody reed that needs to go, and it was sounding flat against the the contra. So let's try this again. Now it's a little bit off the other way, so I had to make it flatter, so let's bring it out. Let's try. We're, often this is an iterative process. You're just trying to get everything to sound together well at once. I need to do is push the wax down a bit. We're going to cover more of that tuning hole. Now on, on this particular pipe, the contra really is a bit too short, so there's a lot of wax involved. Okay, so I've actually pulled the contra out a bit. That's more than I'd like it to be pulled out. I do like to have it pulled out a little bit to allow easy tuning without fiddling with the wax. So I'm going to push the wax down a little bit more and give it a try again. Sounds pretty good. I'm going to try just pulling it out just a fraction. Now what I'm listening for there is I want to make sure that the the contra note, the lower note, and the taunt and the dominant on the melody pipe sound an octave apart. And I'm finding that this note down here is still just a hair flat, so I'm pulling out the contra a little bit, just a few millimeters. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Now on this on this particular pipe, there's a third bore for the octave. It's a stopped pipe. We want to make sure it sounds right as well. So I'm going to play, play the, uh, the contra uncovered and the tonic, and then I'm going to uncover the octave and see how in tune it is. Okay, it 
was quite sharp. Uh, I was covering the hole there a bit to bring it in. So I'm going to go and pull this reed out uh, a little bit. Uh, I pulled it out, a, oh, I suppose, about three or four millimeters. Let's see how far, how well that does. <laughs> It's still just a hair sharp. Um, at this point, I'll pull the reed out a little more. If this doesn't do enough, then you could start adjusting the reed by adding wax to the tip of it uh, to make it sound a, a slightly lower pitch. There's, uh, or I could add wax to the thumb hole, but I'm gonna see if I can do it just by adjusting the reed. It sounds very, very sweet there, so I'm going to say that that's in place. Those uh, sound good. So the next, the next thing we want to do is tune the drone. So I'm going to remove the wax that I used to cap the hole. Uh, clean it up. It just stuck a little bit there. I forgot that this wax is very, very sticky. Uh, I don't like it. It's uh, wax from uh, Baby Bell Cheese. It's just a little too soft. And I'm going to grab the drone. The uh, rest of it, I'm going to add it on. And this re this drone is quite long, but I'm putting it on. I don't know whether how it's going to sound, uh, but we want to tune it against the chander after it's fully tuned. As you can hear, it sounds terrible. So what I'm going to do is take these slides and extend them a bit and see how it sounds. Okay, already quite a bit better. Um, but the other thing I'm going to do is go in here and I'm going to pull the reed out a bit because I don't want the slides extended a whole lot. It, um, if they're extended a whole lot, you can have it fall off, can create problems. So let's see how we sound now. So to sum up, what we want to do is to tune this is first you tune the open note of the melody pipe, or uh, sorry, the, the open note, the lowest note. You use that to establish your reference against the pitch. Then you, and you do that by moving the reed up or down in the socket to start out with. Um, next, you uh, tune the open note of the contra, that is the one without the finger hole closed, against that by adjusting the reed. And that sets the tonic for the instrument. After that's done, you ignore what you previously did on the melody pipe and you tune the fifth to sound perfectly in harmony with the open note of the contra. Once you've done that, then you use wax on the uh, tuning slot to set the lowest note of the melody pipe against the contra and you check the melody pipe to make sure that it sounds perfectly against the the contra. Once you've done that then you set the lower note on the contra by adding wax to um, the hole on the contra extension and sliding your um, your uh, your contra extension up or down a little bit. And that brings the chanter into tune. Now on this instrument, because there's a closed pipe for the, uh, for the octave, you adjust the octave separately by pulling the reed and setting it. And that puts your chanter into tune. After the chanter is in tune, then you tune 
the uh, drone against it. And at that point, your pipe should be in tune.